This is Maria Vega with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn everything about flamenco and Spanish dance. I'm super happy to announce that I'm going back to teaching. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be teaching in Central London from September. You can find all the information and the links on my website and everything will be underneath in this video. So it will be great if you're around and you want to join my workshops. So today we are talking about castanets and more specifically about how to make that slip knot that you need to play the castanet. It's something easy but sometimes just my students tell me that they struggle to make it in a proper way and also how to position the castanet and the knot in relation to your finger when you play castanet. Here I have my pair of castanets. So, as you can see, remember that the right castanet has a mark here. There you go. That is helping you to know that this goes in the right hand. Okay, so I'm going to start getting rid of the old ones. Let me just cut it off with a pair of scissors. There you go. Normally you can find inside the castanets the makers of the castanets. Mine are Castañuelas del Sur, which uh, they are castanets maker that are based in Seville, in Spain. We have our new cord. And we're going to start knitting through both parts of the castanets. Okay, so here. now the two parts together. You always want to leave like one side about a third shorter than the other. Now we just need to measure where to start the knot because you can do it here, here, here. So where to start the knot. So my tip is try to do as if you were wearing the castanet, okay? So you put it on your finger, make it tight, okay? And then there you have the place where you want to make the knot. Always allow a tiny bit more room. Make sure that you always allow a little bit more of room on where to start the knot. Don't do it right here, but just a tiny bit higher up. We have measured where we want our knot to be done. And then we just gently leave it, remove the castanet so we don't miss the exact place. Now make sure you take the longer end. Okay. And now we're going to start passing around the shorter one. We do one. Okay. We do two. Two times around. See? And now we take the very end and we pass it through from the bottom to the top. Okay, and just pull. So now the slip knot is done and my castanet is ready to be worn. 
So remember that the knot always goes in the part that is closer to your body, okay? Or you can also remember that the part that has no knot goes in the bed nail, okay? Now you can see that you can just loosen it up, tighten it up, depending on the side that you're pulling. It's very important for the sounds and also for the look of the castanet on your hand that the knot ends up right in the middle of your finger. So make sure when you tighten it up is meant to be worn in the middle of your finger. As you use the castanet, the knot will become smaller because you will just do this movement so many times that things will start tightening it up. Another tip, if you don't like the length of the remaining um, cord, you can always cut it up but always make sure that you open the castanet as much as you need, okay? So you never run out of room for the slip knot. Now if you want, you can just make another knot here. Okay, so, and then just cut here so it will be smaller. Okay, so you just cut it up. One. And two. And you see, now the length is much better. Perfect. A personal thing I do is these loose end beads, I just burn them a bit. So it's nice and tidy. Please be careful when doing this. I'm just going to repeat the whole process with my right castanet. So you can see that it's very, very easy and quick. Always remember to change both cords of the castanet uh, for a better quality of sound.
Again, remember, right mark for the right castanet, the knot always in the back, put it on, always this part goes in the bed nail, now just tighten it up, it needs to be quite tight, repeat the process with the left. Go, see the position, and now tighten them. And they are ready to be played. I really hope that you found this video useful, and I would really appreciate if you can give me a like. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I'll be uploading. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you either in class in central London or here in the Open Flamenco project. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.